Celestron StarSense Explorer LT114AZ has literally just arrived. And in this video, I'm going to be opening up the box to show you exactly what you get included. I'll also be sharing with you some of my first thoughts and impressions and to just give you a better understanding as to what you can expect if you do proceed to get this telescope. Now it's one of those telescopes, it's often recommended, it comes with a lot of good reviews, so I've been really keen to get my hands on it. So hopefully this video is useful. If you did want to subscribe to the channel, if you haven't already, and hit the bell button, then you will be notified of when I release future videos in this series. So there'll be a video on how to set up this telescope, there'll also be a review video, and there'll also be some things you can expect to see with this video as well. So those are all coming, so make sure that you subscribe for them. With that said, let's open this box. Here is the Celestron StarSense Explorer LT114AZ. So as you can see, I've taken it out of the external packaging that it arrived in, and I did that off of camera just to make sure I kept everything safe. But a little quick tip for you, I'd recommend that you keep that box because it's really, really good for keeping your telescope extra safe, and it's great if you want to put it away in kind of uh, storage for uh, longer periods. It's also Celestron branded, so that's really useful, uh, so you know it's for your telescope and not something else. Now a little bit about the telescope before we open this up. So 114AZ simply refers to 114 millimeter, and that is essentially the optical quality and power of this telescope. So it's also the, a 4.5 inch. Sometimes you'll see the aperture displayed in inches, and that's the kind of equivalent to 114 millimeters. So this telescope is designed to be very, very versatile. So while the box looks large and this looks, you know, quite a significant telescope, it isn't actually uh, supposed to be that big, and we'll soon see that. Um, I've done a lot of research ahead of getting it, and I believe the total kit weight, so that's when everything's set up, is around 10.4 pounds. So it's not too heavy at all. Now this is designed to be a complete kit. So you can see on the box actually what you get, but you get the dock for your smartphone, and I'll touch upon that shortly. Um, you also have access to a StarSense Explorer app, so that's gonna help you navigate to what you can see in the sky. And the beauty of it is it actually will help pinpoint you to what's visible right now. So that's absolutely brilliant. There's, you get, in terms of the accessories, you get a star pointer red dot finder scope. So you can use that instead of the dock. You get two eyepieces at 40 times and 100 times magnification. Now you'll obviously uh, use those at different times depending on what you want to see. You also get the two times Barlow lens, which doubles the power of each eyepiece for up to 200 times magnification. So. Yeah, as I say, 10.4 pounds, it's supposed to be versatile, so if you want to use this in your backyard, that's absolutely fantastic, but you can also take it with you on the go. So, you know, you will need to set it up, of course, um, if you did take it to, say, a field, but the idea is it's not too heavy uh, and you can take it with you on the go. Now, the purpose of this telescope is also multifactorial, so you can look at things like uh, the planets and um, the solar system, but it, you can also use it to look at deep sky objects. Now, of course, you'll need to use different accessories uh, for those views, and I'll get onto that uh, later. So here's the box opening. You've got two openings here, and I believe there's some kind of, yeah, there's a little bit of sealant there. So let's open the box and see what we get. So as you can see, all of the inner components of the telescope are also in their own separate cardboard box. I really like that. It's really good to keep everything nice and protected. Here we have, I'm assuming, a user manual, an instruction manual. We also have the ability to register our product, which I believe all Celestron products come with a two-year warranty, so that's really good to know. Um, so that basically gives us um, the ability to do that. And then it also, just looking at this quick setup guide, that's going to run us through how to, to set this telescope up. And there's also an overview of all the different components, what they are, what they mean, and what they enable you to do. So that's always handy, always good to know. I believe you can get that online if you were to misplace it. So let's have a quick look at each component that's included in the box. So, excellent. Sorry, I was just having a little, little read there just to see everything. Now let's just open this up. I just want to show you these one, not one, well, I will show you them one by one. I won't go into too much detail. But here we go. This really nice, I didn't expect that. A nice Celestron branded bag, uh, which we can use to store certain items in. And it's got this kind of uh, stringed and toggle on it, so we can keep that nice and uh, 
sealed but not in use. It is already, uh, looks to be already uh, tied up. So I do just need to loosen that off. Uh, I might move on to the next thing actually. I mean, I might need to get, I don't want this video to go on for too long. Um, but at the same time, it's always obviously great to see everything that we get. So let me try and do that as quick as I can. So hopefully I've done that now. Uh, I've actually butchered it. <laughs> what a shame. They've done that very, it's very tight. Anyway, I think, there we go. Sorry about that. Now I believe I've opened it up. So in here, wow. Now I must admit, I'm not familiar with every single component at this precise moment, but it will become uh, obvious in due course. If I look at the box, that looks like it's the StarSense dock. Okay, so that's gonna help us to, I believe, mount our, mount our phone, I would have thought. But again, I'll look into that in, in, a, in a second. Um, I've done a lot of research on this telescope, but I'm not familiar with, too familiar with it just yet. So here's the locking knob. That's nice, it's got a nice kind of chrome, kind of rose gold finish. I believe this is the finder scope. Yep, and that is a red dot finder scope, I believe. What else do we have in here? We have the tool. So this is what's really cool, I like this. Um, so all the components in this box are displayed on the front and you can obviously check that you've got everything. Uh, we've got, this looks like it's the Barlow. Yep, that's the Barlow lens. And as you can see, every single component comes in its own uh, packaging, which is really, really nice. I'm really pleased. So I obviously bought this from new, you can buy it used. But uh, I love the fact that this is all in its own kind of, yeah, it's all protected and you can store it away in this. So what we've got, the 10 millimeter eyepiece, that's the 40 times magnification. And then what's this? This must be the, uh, yeah, this looks slightly different. That's why I was a bit confused. So this is the 25 millimeter eyepiece and that'll give us that extra magnification. And then we've got the lens cloth. So this will be imperative for keeping our optics clean, whether it's the eyepieces or the lens. So I'm gonna put all that back in there just for now wanted to show you each of those pieces what they generally look like and their quality they look high quality by the way and then we've got this bag as well so that was the uh, dock uh, the star sense dock was kept in that but we could put everything in there afterwards so that would be really really useful let's have a look so we've got an empty box here interesting that's I'm assuming just to keep everything in place and protected I'd rather they did that so that's fantastic at the back here we've got the tripod and mount and we also have the accessory tray I might open that up next you know no, actually, you know what? Let's look at the optical tube because it's in front of us and it'll be easier, easier to do. So let's open this up. Uh, again, we've got another locking knob. Uh, there's the optical tube. Let's have a look. It looks really high quality, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed by this. So here's, again, here is the optical tube. It's very well packaged. And it's, here we go. This is a good, this gives you a good idea as to its size. So that's actually, the optical tube is bigger than I was expecting, but then again, it's giving us a, you know, really, it's gonna give us really decent views uh, of the night sky. So really, if you're familiar with telescopes, then generally the bigger, the bigger they are, the better. Um, so yeah, that is a big boy. So I will quickly open that up, try and be as careful as possible, just in case you know, anything was wrong, I had to send it back. We are under warranty though, which is good to know. Let me find them scissors. It's quite fiddly to do, but only because I'm recording. If I wasn't recording, then I'm sure this would be much easier. I'll get onto the mount in a minute because there's some interesting aspects of the mount, which I want to talk about. Right, that's that. So that had a, a rubber band, again, keeping it nice and protected. Now this is relatively weighty. I'm assuming most of the weight's gonna be in this optical tube. Um, but, uh, I mean, it's no surprise really. It's the, it's the instrument. It's what enables us to see all those amazing things in the sky. So here it is. Again, really well packaged. Um, yeah, this looks really cool. I want to see if I can get a glimpse of the uh, I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to ruin, anyth ruin anything. I get really protective of these things. You've got to be careful of scratches. I, I like to keep it in really good quality. And you know, one of the good things about these kind of items are is they've got a resale value. If you don't get on with them or want to upgrade your telescope, you can resell them. So it's really important that you open up your, your, uh, your product well, because as I say, if you change your mind, 
want to change it, then you always can in due course. So here we go, that's what I wanted to see. That's what I wanted to show you. Let's take that off. There you go, Celestron Star Sense Explorer LT. Just wanted to see the branding. But this looks absolutely brilliant. Look at that. I'm very excited to use this. Now, I've got to be careful here. I'll put that down just on that um, bubble wrap that comes included. I'm not sure what that is at the moment. Right, hopefully that's safe. Right, I believe it is. I believe that's in place. Have I missed anything? Yeah, there was a, a uh, locking knob in there as well, as you can see, also Celestron Bradley. Now I've got some other Celestron products and I'm really impressed by the quality of the components in this telescope. They definitely seem uh, more premium and of a higher quality than some of the cheaper models. So I know this is a slightly more expensive telescope, but at the moment, obviously we're using it for or, or, or how we get on with it is the main thing that we're buying it for. It's not really how it looks, but I can just I can just tell that this is really, really good quality. Now, here is the mount, okay? So it's gotta be quite, that's quite large. It's relatively weighty. As I say, it's only 10.4 pounds of total kit, but this needs to be quite solid to support that. Um, now, just a little bit on the mount, uh, the, the tripod and the mount that you get. You get a manual alt azimut mount with altitude slow motion adjustment and a sliding rod, okay? Now that's important to know because that's gonna help you easily follow uh, the on-screen arrows if you're using the, the StarSense app, uh, and it'll enable you to find your desired target. So that is really, really beneficial and one of the benefits of this particular telescope. Um, what else can I kind of mention on that? Um, it's, yeah, apparently it's really simple to use. It's, it's, it's designed for beginners in mind. Um, you can move your telescope to find your targets. Um, and there's some slow motion adjustment as well, which is really, really useful. The tripod goes up to full height as well. So it doesn't matter how kind of tall you are, you can use it. So if you, if you bought this for a young child or a teenager, that's great. But if, if you're kind of an adult or slightly taller or even shorter, then you should be able to adjust this to suit your needs. Um, we get an accessory tray as well to store all of those extra accessories and pieces when we are using the tripod. So you don't have to keep uh, the, the telescope. So you don't have to keep, you know, the Barlow lens, the eyepieces in this bag, as an example. You could, you know, put them in the accessory tray and it just looks quite nice, keeps them nicely stored. What else can I quickly mention? Um, just a quick one on the StarSense app. Um, I believe it's called Sky Safari. Now this is really interesting. It's one of the reasons why I bought this telescope. Let me get the tripod out while I'm just walking through it. Um, but the the app itself, oh, one second. The app itself, wow, this is impressive. Um, automatically generates a list of objects currently available overhead, depending on uh, the time of year. Uh, so you can see planets, brighter nebula, galaxies, star clusters, double stars. Um, so it's really, really good for that. You know, you don't, you won't spend time wa wasted um, checking kind of star maps or just trying to find things that aren't visible at that particular time. So that, I really like that. I'm really excited to get started with that. Now onto the tripod itself, as you can see, this looks really sturdy. It's not very heavy actually, but it's large. And so these, these feel almost, yeah, I thought these were gonna be thick, but they're not. These are, um, what's the word? They're empty in the middle. <laughs> if you know what that word is, then you know what I'm trying to refer to. Hollow, I think hollow was the word. But um, if I just pull this off, then you can see, now this just looks, I love, I really love this. I love the kind of uh, orangey gold, rose gold kind of finish. It's that kind of Celestron color. And yeah, this looks absolutely amazing. I'm really, and there's the ability to adjust the tripod as well. So yeah, this just, I'm really excited to get started. I think that's pretty much everything in here. Hopefully I've covered everything. Um, but yeah, it's, if I could really just show you here, that really is, the unboxing, it's all very, very well packaged. You get a lot here, everything's included. And ultimately, I just cannot wait to get started.